Welcome to Yoga Zone. My name is Al Bingham, and joining me today is Lisa Bennett Matkin, a senior Yoga Zone instructor. Today we're practicing beachside at the beautiful Grand Lido San Susi Resort in Ocho Rios, Jamaica. On today's program, you're going to discover that you can do yoga. Even if you can't bend forward to touch your toes, you can still reap the incredible benefits of a yoga practice. Or on the other hand, if you're already super flexible, you're going to find that with our approach today, some of those poses you dismissed as easy before are suddenly a little bit more challenging. Regardless of where you start, by the program's end, you'll have tasted the transformative power of yoga. Let's begin. When we practice our forward bends today, we're going to do so with an eye to lengthening and strengthening the back of the body in relationship to the spine. To do that, we're going to feel our thighs flexing towards us, the tailbone tucking down, and the pubic bone coming in towards the navel. That gets a stretch in the low back, the mid back, and then the upper back. When we extend our spine forward, for a lunge for instance, the hands will come up onto the legs, the knees might bend a little bit, and we'll feel a long line from the tailbone to the mid back and then the upper back. Not kinking the neck back, ouch, great. Slowly come back up, and let's put this into practice with some sun breaths. With the arms alongside the body, we're ready to flow. Inhale, take the arms up. Shoulder width apart. Exhale, flex the thighs, tuck the tailbone, draw the pubic bone towards the navel. Hands flat, face to the shins. Inhale, hands to the shins or thighs. Feel the whole back of the body getting longer. Exhale, fold over and down. Breathe in, take the arms out to the side. Again, lengthen the front of the body. Bend the knees as you come up. Arms shoulder width apart. Exhale, dive down. Flex the thighs, tuck the tail. Good, feel the stretch in the low back. It may be new muscles you're stretching. Inhale, reach to the front of the body longer. And exhale, all the way back down. Be sensitive, feel inside your body. Arms out front and back of the body working together, heels strong and down, and exhale, dive down to the floor one last time. Inhale here, bring the hands onto the shins, lengthen the spine, and this time exhale, step the right leg back, but keep the spine lengthening forward. Remember, your focus is on the spine today. Inhale here, exhale. Inhale, step forward with that back foot. On the exhale, Step your left foot back. Front of the body gets longer. Inhale, stepping up. Press that front foot down, hands to the shins or thighs. Exhale, stepping back. The leg works in opposition to the spine. Inhale, step forward. Spine reaches forward. Keep reaching forward as you now step back. One more time. Inhale, stepping up. Hands forward, lengthen. Exhale, stepping back with the right foot. Now stay here, breathe in. Breathe out, step the other foot back to come into plank pose. In plank pose, the body comes into a straight line. It looks like the top of a push-up, but there's so much more there. The heels extend back. If this is difficult, don't say, oh, I can't do that. Drop the knees down. You can try. It doesn't matter what you can't do, the practice of it will make it possible. Feel here the tailbone tucking down, and even in this pose, long through the spine. That gives you abdominal support in addition to upper arm strength. Take the knees up off the floor if you're stronger. A full breath in, and as you exhale, lift the hips up into the air and come into downward facing dog. If down dog is not focused on the spine, we can suddenly get, as Lisa's showing us here, some crunching into the mid back. The armpits are pressing down towards the floor. Instead, she has now adjusted and gotten length through the underside of her torso. Now the spine's nice and long. Notice here, the neck is long. If you're holding tension in the head, you might start to kink 
and there goes neck tension. Long spine takes that out. The legs are pressing backward to set the base of the spine at a high level and then the rest of the body just extends like a slide to the floor. Take a breath in here and as you exhale, step your left foot up to the hands. Turn both feet to face the edge of your mat and come into fan posture. This is a fan forward bend. It's like an extended downward facing dog. Once again, we look out for any sinking through the rib cage. This will happen especially if you're flexible, flexible through part of your back. As we walk the hands back, we turn the fingers to face towards the heels. Sometimes that flexibility gets in our way here. You can see what happens. We start to round because the head wants to get close to the floor. Try to avoid that and get the long spine. Notice the head is a little higher up. That's not the goal of the pose, to get the head to the floor. Our focus today is stretching the spine nice and long. Great. Now for another variation of this, we can walk the hands through and come into a fan twist. Taking your front hand up into the air and now feeling length. Feel what's happening back in the hips. Notice that little lift up that can tend to happen. If this lifts up, then the rest of our spine is in trouble. So we secure this with the power in the legs, which means flexing the thighs. And then the spine stretches out beautifully as Lisa's demonstrating here. Take a full breath in, and now on the exhale, bring the hand in the air down as the other arm comes up, like a windmill. Long through the spine, tailbone tucking, pubic bone drawing in, and then exhale, twisting once more. Do this with the breath so that you open any muscles that are tight. Exhale, twisting. Nice, Lisa. Inhale here. Exhale, twisting again. Breathe in, reach through this top arm, and then bring the hand down to the ground. Bend the knees and walk the feet in together. Or hop if you're feeling a little bit more daring. Bend the knees deeply as if you're sitting on a chair. Swing the arms around and up. Now if your shoulders are tight, you can try a variation and that's to let the arms come parallel to the floor. Try not to take a sway back here and try not to overcompensate by letting the back round out in the other direction. Find the happy medium. That's the balance of yoga. This you can do. Yes, your thighs are really working hard. Yes, the heels are pressing down, but more importantly, the spine is getting nice and tall. Now here, inhale, stand up, and exhale, arms alongside the body. Turn to face the front of your mats again. Take all of that information, absorb it, feel it, and let's flow again through those sun breaths. So breathe in, take the arms up, exhale, Pull up on the thighs, tuck the tailbone, float down to the floor. Press the feet into the ground. Inhale, come up. Stretch through the front of your body, arms up into the air. Exhale, dive down again. Really sensitive to that spine and it getting longer. Inhale, back up. Let's continue with some standing poses. Step your right foot back about four to five feet. It's a big stride, don't, don't make it too short. Now look to the front heel and make sure that it's lining right up with the middle of that back arch. Then start to bend this front knee. Get it directly over the ankle. Feel that front heel pressing down, really strong into the mat. Reach forward through the right arm, bend and let it come to rest down. Take that back arm up into the sky. Stay here for a moment, breathing in, breathing out. Now take your awareness though to whether or not you've brought the spine into the pose. Use the legs to do this. Tuck the tailbone down. Nice. Then the back of the body gets nice and long. You feel more stability in the front of the body. The legs are extending away, pressing into the mat in either direction. Take a full breath in, and again a full breath out. And we'll use the power in our legs to transition us into the next pose. 
So breathe in. If you're more supple, straighten the front leg. Feel the thigh flexing towards the hip. Otherwise, let your hand stay on the front thigh. Keep it a little bent and maybe narrow your stride slightly. Lifting up through that top arm. Ultimately, the thigh comes all the way as if in towards the hip. The other hand reaches down. The side of the chest and the back of the body stretch nice and long here. Full breath in and out. Breathe in, come back up tall. And exhale, relax the arms, let's do the other side. Stepping up. Take a big step back with the other leg. Bend the front knee. Get the knee right in line with the heel. Widen the stride a little bit here. Press that back foot down. Bend the front arm and let the forearm rest onto the thigh. Now feel what's happening here. If the leg is sending the hips backward, then the spine starts out crooked and it'll never straighten itself. So get that hip in line with the knee. Tuck the tailbone and then you'll feel the back of the body starting to lengthen. Take that top arm up into the air. Press that back foot down and start to feel length through the top of the chest. Full breath in and full breath out. Feel what part of your back have you not found length and strength in. Breathe here, two breaths. And now on the next inhale, come back up. Straightening the front leg if you're more supple, bringing the hand higher up the thigh if you're not. Closing the stride a little bit more. Reach up through the top arm. Feel the top side of the chest getting longer. Inhale and exhale here. Long, smooth breaths. One more inhale. And now exhale, bring the hand down. And come to stand towards the top of the mat. We're now going to practice Warrior Three prep. So we're going to take the right leg and step it back. Come onto the ball of the back foot, press all of the weight down into that front standing foot. Feel the heel as well as the ball of the foot. This again sets our hips correctly so that our spine can start to lengthen up to the sky. Breathe in without arching backward or without rounding forward, start to take the back foot off the floor. Start to feel here what is happening in through the hips. This will set the story for the rest of the spine. So we try to keep the hips level side to side and not so much of a curve in through the low back. And Lisa's shown us beautifully the difference. The mid back is lengthening. The head is lengthening. So we don't throw the head back. Strong through the abdomen. One more breath in. Exhale. Beautiful. Come to stand tall. Nice. Let's try the other side. Stepping up and then take the other foot back. Putting all of the weight onto the ball of the foot here. Standing tall. Feel the difference. Arch backward a little bit. There's not much support here in the low abdomen when we do that. Tuck the tailbone and now feel the strength. The belly's powerful. Without rounding forward, get longer. And then Lisa's going to go further. I'm just going to go a slight bit into the pose. Regardless of how far we go, there's a lot happening. So we can do yoga. It's just not a matter of range. It's feeling the form. The hands can stay on the hips to navigate the hips to stay nice and flat. Breathe in and breathe out. Remember, we're still feeling that thigh drawing up, giving a strength into the belly. One more breath in. And now exhale. Come to lower down slowly. Good job. Let's come down onto our knees now. Kneeling and getting ready for some side lunges. We're going to take the right foot out to the side. Now here, make sure that right foot is in line with the front of the knee. Not too far ahead, not too far back. The other hand comes to the inside of the leg. Our other hand comes to the small of our back so that our seat doesn't press backwards. Breathe in here and now exhale. Ease on over to the side. 
Feel what your spine is up to. Lengthen through the torso. Then you'll get a stretch through the inside and outside legs. Breathe in, nice, and breathe out. Let's come back up tall. Bring the knees together. So even when we transition from a pose, especially if it's hard, don't lose that posture in the spine. Stay upright. Bring the other foot out. Knee right above the ankle, tailbone tucking down. Feel the inside of the leg extending outward as we come deep into this groin stretch. You'll feel it in the inside of the leg. You'll feel it in the other thigh. Tucking the tailbone down, standing tall in this pose. Two breaths, in and out. One more breath. And now slowly come back up. Bring the knees together. Bring the seat down onto the heels. Bring your chest onto your thighs and the forehead onto the floor. Rest in child's pose. Let's finish up with one last forward bend. This will get us ready for that final relaxation. Keep the knees bent in this forward bend. Keep the toes flexing towards you. Breathe in, take the arms up into the air. And as you exhale, feel the back of your body get nice and long. The knees are up, so we're not trying to go low down, but stretch, stretch, stretch the back of the body. It doesn't matter how far you go. It's the sensitivity that we're developing. To feel that spine nice and long as Lisa's showing us. Not aggressively pulling, trying to get the knee to the forehead. Just restfully moving into the pose. Nice, even breaths. Slowly come back up tall. Good. Bounce the legs out a little bit. And come to sit in a cross-legged seat. One heel into the groin, the other heel in line with it. Take the backs of your hands to rest onto the knees. The thumb and first finger touching. Close the eyes and feel the spine that you've been working to stretch and lengthen throughout the whole of the class. Feel it now without effort, nice and tall. And then with the eyes closed, visualize the base of the spine stretching downward. And visualize the top crown of your head extending far up into the heavens. Go with that image, the tailbone down, the spine tall. Feel it stretching beyond your limits, beyond what you think, beyond what you know. Feel that transformation as you move away from your body, away from the thoughts of your mind, and you just feel nourished by your spirit. Flexibility is an incredible benefit, but certainly not a prerequisite to a yoga practice. You can do yoga regardless of your flexibility. Certainly, over time with the daily practice, you'll get stronger and more supple. But in the meantime, you'll have this nourishment, this balance, this quietness to take you into the day. Thanks for sharing the time with us. My name is Al. See you again at Yoga Zone.